Oh. Hello. And welcome back to part 16 of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red with me, Dan.w. Uh, if you are watching as a follow on from the last episode, then I sincerely apologise for the quality of the sound that came out. You may have read in the description of the last episode, uh, there were issues. Um, issues. Well, there were issues ever since uh, the previous episode, episode 14. Um, that I <laughs> that I did speak about in the last uh, in the last episode, but it's very unlikely any of you actually heard what I was saying. So essentially, uh, roughly uh, mid to end March, um, my laptop that I use to play this game and to record this game uh, decided to conk out, and due to the current situation of uh, the pandemic at the moment with the lockdowns, uh, there was no way for me to get it fixed. And so instead of waiting, I impatiently decided to restore it myself. And none of my restore points worked, but at that point I'd already decided to do it. So I cleared everything. <laughs> uh, that included, uh, obviously, the saves for this game. So the reason that it took so long then was after pushing myself out of the funk of being annoyed at what had happened, uh, I then had to obviously start again. Um, re-record, not re-record, sorry, uh, redo the whole thing, catch every Pokemon that I caught before, and get back to this point. Um, or at least the point that I would have been at the beginning of the last episode. Um, so on the last episode I gave you a rundown of my team. Uh, you will have seen those in the last episode, at the very least on the screen. You'd have seen the uh, screens that I went on through each Pokemon, and seen what I did with them during the gym battle in the last episode. Um, but essentially, the reason we had no volume in the last, no volume, rather the too much volume in the last episode, was my own fault. I hadn't plugged in um, the mic properly, <laughs> so it was my own fault. And if you can hear bits in the last episode, since it was still recording audio, it was just the laptop recording audio rather than the actual microphone recording, and the microphone is at my face, which is why you can hear me now. So not only had I also not turned down. Uh, the uh, the desktop audio to as low as I thought or as low as it should have been I, I thought I'd got it low enough but that didn't really help when I didn't have a microphone working that was by my mouth um, so most of the last episode is just garbled speech under very tinny loud sped up music um, since I am on um, 200% throttle on this as well to keep it smooth as you can see it's lovely and nice uh, and the last quick update in case again it wasn't heard on the last episode deciding to do this was easy for me uh, I've mentioned before in previous videos that I hadn't um, used the universal randomizer to uh, stop trade evolutions well I did that uh, and in doing that I'd also sped up um, instant messaging and then after doing that and messing around with uh, settings on this I did not have um, text at the bottom of the screen um, which was an easy fix all I had to do was go into my options and change uh, the text speed down to, to mid I could do slow but mid's fine uh, fast was just I mean you can see it now blank it's too fast um, so yes so that's that so as I said, you wouldn't possibly have heard at the end of the last episode. If you did make it to the end and did manage to hear me, great. If not, which is more likely, uh, the plan for this episode is to go through the Safari Zone. Now, as I explained in the end of the last episode, my general um, use of the Safari Zone in Gen 1 is that I run in first time, uh, head around and get all of the items, uh, including the Gold Teeth and the Surf TM. And then I'll come back in at a later, point, later point sorry, um, and catch Pokemon. Uh, my Pokedex is currently sitting at um, 47 owned. So I'm not too fussed right now about coming back and catching. That can be done at a later date. Uh, or it can be done off screen if I need to. So this episode will essentially be me heading around the Safari Zone. And obtaining all slash as many of the items as I can. So you can roam the wide open Safari and catch what you like. Would you like to play? Sure. 500 Pokey? Then yes, I will. We don't use a special kind of Pokeball here. Damn received? Yes. We'll call you on the PA when you run out of time or Safari Balls. So, for any, be any people, any people rather, who haven't played uh, the Gen 1 
um, Safari Zone. Uh, when they say time, they actually mean steps. You get 600 steps max. As you can see, I've already taken three in. So 600 steps or 30 Pokeballs, whichever you use first, that's what kicks you out. Now, if going by memory, you can get through this um, obtaining every important item within 600 steps first. Um, I might as well catch one here. Um, I think, anyway. I know I can get to Surf at least within 600 steps easily. Um, but some of the other items are not as uh, easily accessed in that time, at least not in one um, one quick run. It involves a lot of uh, back and forth to do that, and obviously doing that's not going to uh, make things happen because then we won't be able to make it to the end. So there is um, an item just here to the left. I'm pointing. I don't know why I'm pointing, but as you can see, the way I'm facing, just below the bushes, there is another item there as far as I remember, but I'm not going to go for that now. I'm going to make sure I can get ahead because I can come back. Uh, it's only 500 Pokey. And so when I do come back to catch more Pokemon, even though, I'm, as you can see, I'm catching it on the way, um, there's no reason not to. Um, see, there's that item, yep. Uh, yeah, as I come back, I can go and get the extra items because there's... Oh, I'm going... So, following the route I'm taking, not the steps I nearly climbed up, uh, we'll be able to take you to the um, the two important items of the Safari Zone, really. Uh, as I say, those are HM3 Surf and the Gold Teeth, which you then give to the um, Warden to get HM4 Strength, which are the two real prizes here. I suppose there are a few TMs, um, but yeah, you saw me catch a pro uh, catch. You saw me pick up a protein there. It's not really going to do much uh, for me when you can. Realistically, if I, was, if I was ever serious about trying to max stats, I would make enough money uh, to buy the there's a gold teeth to buy the items from the Celadon Superstore and decide to do it that way. Um, but I almost never and probably will never. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign for our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win a campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. And there's HM03, which is Surf. Pokemon will be able to ferry you across water using it. And this HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. So that's with, yeah, less than 400 steps to get here. And annoyingly, or well not annoyingly, it's not really that bad, but I'm going to have to teach Surf currently to Kingler. Um, who doesn't really have that great a special stat anyway. And then I was thinking to myself, I'd much prefer to have a Crab Hammer since it's physical. But then, let's not forget, it's not physical in this generation. They're both special because water is special and therefore 95 power, um, I believe, is greater than Crab Hammer. We'll see when King of tries to learn it. Um, but yeah. Now, I could just remove Harden. Um, but I'm going for just pure power right now. Uh, and so while Harden isn't going to be used, I don't need water pulse and harden okay now there's a couple of things you can do here really um, generally I don't go back on myself the first time I'll cross this river here stream river uh, and attempt to get some more items I don't know why I walked over to the rest house now this is the I mean you can probably get Taurus anywhere but I do remember myself personally managing to get Taurus more here um, but let's get this other item. And so we still have 173 steps left. There's not really much we can do. Um, what I can do is surf into the center of this uh, lake and get this. Which is a nice little nugget. And really, I can go up here to try and get the other item. But mm, I could actually at least get this one. That may, I think there's only one left then. Yeah, I can get it. Now, can I get, if I'm smart enough, can I get the item on the previous screen? I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, 
No, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, what did I pick ball? Good. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. Oh, that's such a shame. That could have been done as well. Well, did you catch your fair share? Come again. So that wasn't really too bad. Um, we managed to get, what, three Pokemon? As well as um, uh, Surf and the Gold Teeth. Now, as I said, the Gold Teeth come in useful because of this next little task. So, here's the Warden's House. Now, you'll notice there's an item here behind a little boulder. And I do believe, I do believe this is the first boulder we've seen so far in the playthrough. I don't recall seeing another one. Now, the item behind here is a rare candy. It's not hugely important for my playthrough, really, but hey, I'm not going to get it. So, if you came to speak to this guy before, he would have spoken um, in, a, in a garbled text that you couldn't understand. Because these gold teeth are his uh, false dentures, basically. Thanks, son. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said. Not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office, even. Let me give you something for your trouble. And there's HM04. Now, HM04, as I said already, is strength. Strength can move boulders. So I've got three options for strength. I have Hitmonchan, Venusaur, and Kingler. I'm definitely not giving it to Hitmonchan because the four moves that Hitmonchan has are pretty much like now. Um, so it really is between Venusaur and Kingler. Now, Kingler already has Stomp, which is quite strong. Uh, Venusaur only has Tackle as a normal move. So, I'm sure you can guess it. Venusaur's getting a little upgrade this episode. So we're going to give Strength to Venusaur to replace Tackle. And we're also going to give Venusaur Toxic to replace Poison Powder. You know, it's not only more accurate than Poison Powder, it also has um, a damage that increases in tick damage. So Poison Powder's a set, I think it's 1 16th, is it? Or one, yeah, 1 16th, I think, of Poison Damage. Now Toxic increases every turn, so the first episode is 1 16th. First episode? What's wrong with me? The first tick is 1 16th, then I believe it's 1 8th, then 1 4th, then 1 half, and then, well, by that point, the Pokemon's dead. So, I love how they coloured the TMs in this. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Let's get this boulder out of the way. And there's the rare candy. Now, uh, there are, mm, there's, there's not really two ways you can go, but there are two ways you can go now. So as you can see, we now have five badges. Um, so realistically, there's, there's this is a, a fork in the in the story. To be honest, we can now go back to Saffron City, um, and take on uh, the Tower of Silco. Um, which has been taken over by Team Rocket. Uh, and then obviously we'll need to defeat Sabrina to get another gym badge. We can also now um, realistically fly to Pallet Town. You can go through Sea Foam Islands as well, but I never do that on, on any playthrough. I probably will on this one just to show it, but normally I fly to Pallet Town, surf south uh, to Cinnabar Island, and you can get another badge there. Um, I think what we're going to do is go back to Saffron City, but as we've only been there once, I think I'm going to be a bit cheeky and I'm going to head up to Sir Lavender Town and try and get, uh, well, try and get to it through there. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If, oh, how lucky is that? If your Pokedex has complete data of 50 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Now, do you remember what we started on? You've seen it already on screen. We started on 47 and caught three, so we now have 50, um, which is the XP share. Now, uh, I don't think I'm really going to be using the XP share at the moment. Um, all of the team is going to get used in its own battles, um, which isn't really going to affect much. How one thing I will do, since this, sure, let's make this the TM episode, I'm also going to teach Steelwing to Pidgeot just as a precaution for um, ice and fire, ice and rock types in case for some reason she gets stuck against them uh, and I will get rid of tackle okay 
Okay. And I think that is it for um, the TMs. I was considering Aerial Ace for the trio. Or maybe even Butterfree to power up uh, Gust, since again, it doesn't matter whether it's special or, or physical in this, it's just flying, which is physical regardless. Uh, at the very least, then it's a stronger stab. I might do that actually. Brick Break is another TM that I'd like to teach, but since only Hitmonchan can learn it, and I believe. Did I keep Mark Punch on? I think I kept Mark Punch to keep the speed. Yeah. I don't think, at the very least, yet until they're up all at much higher levels. I don't think I'll be doing much else with that. Um, yeah. Right. So here we go. Yasmin, thank you. Let's get this going. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Fire punch, thank you. Ardish. Angler. Nice. Oh gosh, that one battle took a lot out of him. Uh, let's use the super potions first. I believe a lot of the trainers on this route are bird keepers. So um, Hitmonchan will be able to take on a lot. Oh, freeze. Nice. Level 33. Uh, Pidgey, shall I be nice and give the trio? Does he need anything? Not really. Kingler can't really take it out, but that's fine. Kingler's going to get um, enough battles later on. So that's fine. One moment. Keep him on channel for now because it's going to be difficult to hit him on channel to really do much else. Far fetched, yes. So, duo. Ice punch again? Nice. Thank you, Edwin. It was tragic, yeah. Chester. A nice big Dudrio. Two hits. And now a dojo, and I believe he has another dojo. Yeah. And there's level 34. Okay, Picnica. Kingdra. Not Kingdra. Oh, that was lucky. Let's get a super potion on him quickly. Distractions and the nice one to take it out. And there's a fire punch. I think after the next battle, I may run back to the Pokemon Center just to heal up some PP, but I will do one more. to give a battle to let's do Butterfree. Butterfree's not really gonna do much after uh, the fuchsia gym. Lovely. Yeah, 
now we're definitely heading back. Little, 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 little eggs run, little eggs run. There we go. Okay. Now, I think the plan for this episode is maybe at the very least to get through the maze at the top. Um... And then I believe once we hit the the jetty over the uh, over the lake, see, I don't know what it would be. Um, yeah, once we hit that, uh, I think that's when we'll uh, end today's episode. Dear me, I'm poison just trying to catch a venom out there. This is crazy. Back I go. I mean, I should really be smart and buy, just buy some antidotes, and I think I will. Because I can't keep running back, back and forth. Uh, no, no, I don't have farfetch with me anymore. Um, uh. To be fair, I'm going to because... Mm, that was a mistake, actually. Hang on, this is so what I think... No, that's right. It's alright. Uh, usually, usually, I um, buy four restores by the end of the game. But it's not like I'm not going to be able to make much money. My plan is to beef up a Meowth at some point and then use Payday on the VS Seekers to really just sort of get as much money as possible. Okay, Thunder Punch. Ha <laughs> ha rock slide. Oh, what a mistake. Wigglytuff is not the first I've been in this generation, so Mark Punch it is. And again. Level 35, nice. Hitmonchan's doing really well this episode. Now, I believe these will need Doug Trio to take down, but I may be wrong. Nope. Oh no, I am wrong because uh, <laughs> because Clapping has Levitate. Now Grimer is one I can take down with Doug Trio. Weezing. Oops, not him, Chan. Please don't have a clap in the first. Ay ay ay. There we go. And wheezing. come back to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Doug Trio can take out a flying tote for now, considering he has the capacity to. Okay. Let's see. Charmander and Squirtle, yeah, this is perfect. Rock Slide and then a Thunder Punch on Squirtle, if it doesn't take him out. Yeah. There we go. Do you know, I think I always do enjoy seeing um, NPCs with, uh, with the starters. I think it's correct. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, I was correct in using Butterfree the whole time. 
muck. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to switch this time. I don't know what, too far. I don't know why I put him to sleep. Uh, sorry, because I'm taking my one hit. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's give the tree everything they can. Butterfree's probably going to have more. That's for sure. We'll go through um, Team Rocket. There's going to be a lot more poison types. So. A lot more coughings, anyway. That Doug Trio can't deal with. Grimer. And then the Magnitude's going to do that. Grimer again. Magnitude 8. Nice. Coughing. Oh, they're both poison. I think I just bought. I don't know why. I just bought full heals, and I don't intend to use them. It was such a waste of money. Such a waste of money. But at some point, I'm still gonna have to run back anyway. There we go. All nice and squeaky clean. Let's see. Another coughing. Oh, nearly sent that Hitmonchan again. not paying attention and that's why I need to go back to the Pokemon Center because now I can't use Psychic which is the only reason that I can kill them Magnitude uh, let's give King Grogo nice actually I should be using this to get the King Blood done with uh, with those uh, Pokemon that weak to ground. Let's take the last couple of bird keepers out before we end. Oh, did you? Don't you? And there's. Oh, come on. Oh, the Fury attack face off. They're both furious, as you can't tell. Right, and with no PP, we'll definitely switch into a into Hitmonchan to defeat Beck. Okay, well here we are then guys, uh, yes, on the next episode we'll finish uh, heading up towards Lavender Town, take on them, make our way to Saffron City, and depending on how long that takes, we might start off the um, Sylph Company Tower, if not then that'll be the next episode, but regardless of that, thank you for watching, uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.